I'm Wynn, the CTO of the Cubetics Network, and if you are watching this recording, you are probably interested in running a Cubetics test node node. So let's begin. In this video, we show you how to run a Cubetics Network node and how to access the validator dashboard. If you are just interested in the validator part, you may wish to skip to around minute seven of this video. So I'm going to go through the tutorial as you can see here at Cubetic Stocks. You can access it using the website and up in the right, Cubetics and Testnet. As you click here, here's the documentation. Then go to the Testnet node setup and you will be exactly where I am. So I'm going to show you step by step how to easily set up a test net node for the Cubetics network and sort of continue on from there. So let's begin. Um, here's the prerequisites as shown. So your operating system should be 20.04 or 22.04. Then one other thing to remember is that your server has to have at least four gigabytes of internal RAM which is freely available and around about 20 gigabytes of storage. And uh, you need to make sure that you're using a stable network, which is usually the thing for servers to run on successfully. We are running an AWS server EC2 instance to be exact. So you can do the same and continue along with this tutorial. So as you can see, there are some tools and dependencies here, the Go language, AQ Bash, etc. And we'll go through it step by step and we'll get it sorted out for you. So firstly, you have to connect your servers or connect to the servers, as you can see. So I'm connecting with mine here and here's my server. And first, I use sudo shu to, uh, to log in as a super user. So uh, to give you this sort of uh, positioning, you go to the directory. We have nothing here, but I have actually created a data directory, which I can change or I can change the directory to. And here you can see there are a couple of things. So, OK, so we uh, so first what we do is we use git clone. So you use git clone or the git clone command and copy paste this and then do it uh, as you can see here. And then what this does is it downloads the whole repository. And then when you click uh, list or click list, there is a Cubetics testnet script. OK, um, so and now you can change directory to that and write Cubetics testnet. And then when you click tab, you can see it changes directory successfully. So when you click LS, you should see these files and uh, you know there are two things you can do right now. So if you don't have a Go language or Go language installed on your server, you can, uh, you can do this, but as you can see, when I show you the command dash install go sh, it says it's already existing. So I'm good to go. The next thing, as the documentation says, is the execute the script section, the script section. So what script are we actually trying to run here? Or the script we're trying to run here is this one the Cubetics Ubuntu node SH. So right dash the Q and then click tap and it's uh, all going in there now and you can see it's running the script. So first it updates the packages and then it goes through installing the required package for the Cubetics SD. So as you can see since I've already installed it, it says there's an existing folder here. And do you want to delete this folder? Install a new local node. 
or you want to decline this okay since uh, this is a tutorial we're going to show you how it's done so I click Y and this is probably uh, something you should have to do if you see this screen click Y and then click enter and it goes through installing everything needed as uh, you can see it's done so when you see this data and you're sure it's done correctly there are some important notes to uh, to this regarding uh, you know take paying attention to so you've got to copy paste this or copy this information this is very important as you can see uh, this part has to be copy pasted because it has the mnemonic keys and uh, here the mnemonic keys you can see here uh, so there's a lot of data and also this part is the uh, we showed you the tendermint key h32 address and uh, the node id you have to keep these parts uh, as well as being able to have your node credentials with you um, so so you can see this is node's been running successfully so that's great and then this verifies so you can copy paste this and if it's working here you can see it says it's a, a valid genesis block so uh, you can display the node information as you can see use copy paste uh, and these features reference you can test different functionality out as you can see so I'm testing this one out and uh, it's showing me today it seems like it's uh, updating with the network so that's great uh, so the rest you can do you can change the configuration and everything sort of do that there so I'm going to go to the next step now which is how to become a validator okay so to become a validator you need to have the node set up as in the previous steps before and uh, running so as uh, so the, uh, so uh, what we have to do is we have to go through the validator application so on the left hand side on the top you know is uh, is the website and there is a link to this the alpha test net validator dot dot work login this is the link to the validators dashboard and the first thing you see in the validator dashboard is this screen it's asking for the node information and uh, what what is this node information well as you can see here there's some routing and some login and this is the note URL the node URL that you have to provide uh, it's the IP instance of your own server and you have to add this port to the end so there are a couple of ways you can do this uh, you can do it using a curl if config.me or if you're running a server just like me you can easily uh, you know get the server like for example this I'll show you here um, first things first when you come here you can have uh, you can sort of uh, check to make sure it's allowing for insecure content uh, because otherwise it will give you an error because this URL is HTTPS so it's a secure URL and uh, if you don't give it your HTTPS uh, which most servers now have you'll have some bugs or some setup issues so put simply you just click here uh, and now if you know uh, it's insecure uh, you're probably you've got these three lines here as you click here you can see the side settings click on it and you become you get to this point here and as you can see I'm using a brave browser but for uh, Chrome or anything else you can see these settings in the content site details find the site uh, the alpha test uh, work and you'll be here so the thing you have to change right now is this one for insecure content so it is blocked by the default or by default and you have to allow it to make sure that so uh, to make it work so as you can see if I reload it from now on it becomes not secure so let's uh, put it into the command so HTTP and two dots and uh, slash slash and then show the node so we can just copy paste this as you can see 
it gives me this one and this is the IP okay so so my opinion is the IP is here you can copy paste this IP and then uh, as you can see this this is the port that has to be added manually at the end of your URL so uh, copy this and paste it here and then submit okay so that's been successful so that's great so the next thing is the dashboard so the dashboard wants the mnemonics key so you remember the mnemonics key I'm sorry uh, once you copy pasted it here you copy paste that here right now this is the mnemonics key or copy pasting from the terminal just click Control shift and C or you can even right click on it and copy it so now we paste it in it's logging in and you're probably getting this error and as you can see it's uh, it's just that you're you, you it's waiting for you to sync up um, so with other nodes so this is this is totally normal don't panic um, because when you set up your node it has to be first downloaded from the whole network and then to become or be in sync with the other nodes and then you'll be able to log into your dashboard so uh, as you can see here it is in the journal and this is the status and as the status shows you know maintaining calls executing it's just downloading all the data and that it has uh, it's just kind of uh, syncing uh, syncing with the blockchain so which is great and um, as you can see um, there's a height of uh, 29428 and here is the latest ones uh, 29435 so don't worry about uh, that it's just logging again and it says three four sorry three one four four one out of one hundred and ninety six thousand so that means that you have to wait until that number reaches the one nine four thousand mark and uh, you have to wait for it uh, as you can see in thirty two thousand so it's there you have to wait a bit until the network's fully synced with the whole network and then try again and uh, hopefully you'll be successfully logged in to the validator dashboard So I hope this uh, tutorial was successful or uh, was good, was uh, helpful. Um, if you've got any issues, just be sure to get in contact with us. And uh, really, um, thank you very much for listening.